Hey, ke hey, ke hey, ke hi everybody. I hope you're all having a good day. I hope you're all smiling and enjoying your lovely day. So in this following tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you on how to set up WebSockets inside of Binion so that way you can utilize your Stream Deck to do stuff like expressions or any other stuff like even redeems or whatever the heck you want basically. Um, but basically you'll take, you'll have your Stream Deck basically take control of Binion so you can do a lot of crazy stuff with it. Now. Before uh, we do get started though, you first need a stream deck. If you do not have a physical stream deck, as in you bought the stream deck, um, which they can run for about 100 to 200 depending on the size you're going for, but basically you're going to need that hardware. If you don't have it, then you might as well stick with the simple hotkey on your keyboard if you prefer that. But either way, this tutorial is for those who actually own the physical stream deck device. Now once you do have the Stream Deck device on you, um, the next thing is of course you have to download a certain plugin in order to get it so it can speak to Vignon. It looks like this. So what you're going to do is you're going to go into the Elgato plugins website which will be in the link in description. You're going to look up web and then you're going to put a space and then there will be um, there will be a download for install on the WebSocket space. Or, the web request basically um, as you can see in the picture here you have to make sure you get this exact one otherwise it will not work so that is a start on getting it up and going now the next thing of course is you have to download well make sure beforehand you download the stream deck program then download the plugin now uh, the program here looks like this I have the stream deck Excel so that's for my case but basically um, for here, you see how I have it where all these expressions here are set up basically. So if I were to press one of the buttons, like joy, it will allow me to trigger my joy expression and also do other stuff basically. So yeah. Um, now pretty much um, before actually I get into how to set this part up, we need to actually made, make a node to have a WebSocket toggled. So we're gonna go into node graph. So this is the first thing, uh, so this is the next thing we're actually gonna do. You're gonna add a new graph. Now of course this depends on the, what you want as a WebSocket, but think of it as a secondary hotkey. What do you want to set up as a hotkey for Vignon, but on your Stream Deck? So we're gonna go into WebSocket right here. And let's say for example, we want to have a WebSocket that throws stuff at us basically. Just a simple start. So you're gonna connect these nodes together and you're gonna, let's say name this to throw. And let's have it where it'll throw uh, some blobs here and set this to a value of 10. And you know, just keep it simple basically. So let's say we wanna have something like this, uh, be a WebSocket or a hotkey, whether you're doing it for expressions or whatever the heck. Um, Basically, what you're going to do, uh, once you name it correctly, you're going to go into the, uh, the Stream Deck uh, program here. You're going to go scroll all the way down uh, to where there is the web request plugin. And then what you're going to do is you're going to click on the WebSocket message here. Then what you're going to do is you're going to name it exactly, at least for the title, exactly what it says on the Vignon WebSocket note. So for my case, it says throw, and I have to make sure the spelling and everything is correct. Um, I'm, I don't, I don't think it's cap sensitive, but better safe than sorry. So we're gonna name it throw, and then for my case, I have this link here. So this URL here. Um, which I'll make sure to also put in the description so you can copy and paste it. This is a default URL that you are going to use pretty much um, if you're going to do the WebSocket message. Um, it'll be ws uh, colon slash slash localhost colon 8000 slash vignan. That's pretty much the link. Um, of course, you can actually change its port number. So if you want to go a bit more complicated and you have a specific, you want to do some other stuff with the number, you can definitely uh, change the number of this WebSocket to something else. So you can go to general settings and scroll all the way down to the bottom and there's a WebSocket and there's receiving port. So if you want to change it for certain reasons, you can definitely change it here. I keep it by default, but for those who are a bit more complicated with their setup, you may want to change it. Now, um, 
I'll actually uh, show, I'll make sure to actually quickly show again, uh, since I had that on. Um, just a reminder, general settings, cl click here. This is where you can change your receiving port. Um, if you so desire, if by chance you don't want to, or if you don't know what it does, I would just recommend keep it as default. But anyways, um, besides that, we're going to go back to the program here. And with the new little WebSocket message here, you're going to basically paste it from the description over here. And there you go. And pretty much now you have it where it's set to become um, a sort of toggle with the Stream Deck. And all you're going to do is you're going to press on the button. And it tosses stuff at me, basically. And yeah, that's pretty much in a nutshell what you can do with this and like I said treat it like a hotkey so like for example on my expression stuff here which is a bit complicated um, sorry to scare you with this node but basically for mine I have a set to where it's websocket command here um, but yeah and also um, you could do it with cameras you could do it with pretty much anything you really want um, depending on what you want to do with your setup really but yeah, and I've also even set, for example, on my arm sway uh, for a little bit more of a complicated example. Um, I have it where there's a web socket to turn off and on the arm sway. So how I have my arm sway here, I can be able to turn it off if ever I have to use my mocap suit. So yeah. Um, but pretty much in a nutshell, that is how you will set up a web socket or how you get the Stream Deck working with Vinyan. Um, let me know if you have any other questions regarding setting this up. I know it can be a bit complicated uh, depending on the effect you're going for, but um, as long as you know the simple formula, you can apply your knowledge and be able to do many more things uh, with uh, WebSockets or Stream Deck or whatever the heck you want to basically do. Um, now, of course, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, I'll play, make sure to put my social media in down below basically and yeah if you have any other suggestions on what you want to learn in being on let me know i'd be happy to make a tutorial regarding it and with that being said though uh hey 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 signing down everyone i hope to see you guys next time okay bye